Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, the Charlotte Hornets had a very uh, tumultuous offseason as far as like the guy, like the amount of departures we had, and just a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of key guys that went to different teams. You know, Alan Jefferson, Courtney Lee, um, but the most notable one out of all of them would be Jeremy Lin, as he signed a deal with the Brooklyn Nets, which honestly. Um, he didn't get paid that much money t with the new salary cap. Um, I feel like he kind of got lowballed, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, big loss for us. And uh, Kemba Walker addressed this in a recent article on the Charlotte, in the Charlotte Observer. So this is what I wanted to t touch on in this video and just get my thoughts on it. But uh, here's what he said in regards to uh, Jeremy Lin and him departing to the Brooklyn Nets. He said, I quote, I hate to see him go, but at the same time, I'm definitely happy for him. He deserves to be a starter in this league. He's such a great player, and he proved that. La and he proved that last season. There were games where I was off, and he carried the team. Now, um, Jemlin is definitely a starting, you know, point guard in the NBA. He's he's at that level. Um, he said before he even wanted. He said he's basically before he even left the Hornets. He said about a couple weeks before that he wanted to go somewhere where he could find out how good he was and. You know, he talked about the average lifespan of an athlete and that the prime is usually 27 to 30, and that's where he's at. So he wants to go try to maximize his talents. Um, he didn't say that, he didn't come out and say that he didn't want to do that in Charlotte, but he kind of hinted towards that. We all knew that he wanted to be in New York City at some point, so not completely surprised, but I did want him to stay in Charlotte. Um, he did, you know, there were times last year where he did uh, carry the team in the playoffs. He was at times the best player on the floor for the Hornets. Make Kemba's life easier, uh, and just just was a huge part of the team. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna miss I miss Lynn a lot. You know, I've said it like a million videos, but um, you know, we'll still, be, we'll still be a good team. You know, how you have you have our mindset just being a good replacement. Kemba's still gonna t takes makes his strides as a player, but um, you know, it's good to see that there's no hate or shade being thrown around because uh, you know you kind of see that in the NBA sometimes along some of these players. You know, Kemba's actually happy, and I actually believe that he is. Happy for Lynn. Um, and with the Nets, you know, that team is going to be a team where he can really make his mark, where he can really leave his imprint because that team has, like, not a whole lot of talent right now. They're really, just to put it nicely, they're, they're trash. You know, they're really trash. You know, the best players on that team are Jeremy Lynn and Brooke Lopez whenever he can stay healthy. So they have a lot of work to do. It's going to be a lot of growing pains to the Brooklyn Nets. But, um, yeah, man, Kimball Walker just came out and he said that uh, Jeremy Lin deserved to be a starter in the NBA and just, just gave him his credit and said he was happy for him. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Jeremy Lin deserves to be a starting point guard in the NBA? And uh, how do you think he will fare this year with the Brooklyn Nets and how much of a difference do you think he makes? Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.